if there is one thing I get asked a lot, it's a recommendation on a cheap mechanical keyboard. This right here is called the RK61 by Royal Kludge. It's a 60% keyboard that comes in two color schemes, contains mechanical switches, backlit RGB, and supports Bluetooth capabilities all available for less than $50. This is actually the cheapest keyboard we're reviewing on this channel, but I have plans to review more budget-friendly keyboards in the upcoming future. This video is brought to you by Banggood to celebrate the Singles Day promotion. They will be hosting a 48-hour flash sale where you can purchase a variety of their products for 30 to 50% off. You can find out more information in the links below. To begin this video, let's quickly start with the unboxing. You get your package in a small cardboard box, open it up, and you have your keyboard contained in a static-free foam wrap. Putting that to the side, you have your accessories and other contents, starting with the manual, a rubberized micro USB cable, and lastly, a keycap puller. Moving on to the keyboard, you have your choices of two colors, where you can either select white or black. The first thing you might notice is how this keyboard resembles the N Pro 2. In my opinion, I consider it to be a more budget version of the keyboard. It shares a lot of similarities for almost half the price. Starting with the design, it's constructed mostly of plastic from the housing to the keycaps. The keyboard is a 60% model containing 61 keys, where you need to use the function shortcuts to access the other keys like the navigation, directionals, and F keys. The backside has four rubber stops to keep the keyboard in place, but has no flip up feet for angle adjustments. While on the back, there is an option to toggle on the Bluetooth feature, which we will get to later in the video. On the top side of the keyboard reveals a micro USB connectivity. It's not really my favorite, as most modern boards use a USB-C connection now. For the keycaps, they're OEM profile, with the material being double shot ABS. The main typeface is translucent for backlit RGB, while the function shortcuts that it's displayed are printed on. You can choose up to three different types of switches from red, blues, and browns. There are no information as to what switches these are, as they're labeled brandless. From research, a lot of vendors and users have stated that they're kale switches, not to be confused with kale box switches. Going over the information, we'll talk about the switches for this specific model. I selected the blue switches for that clicky feel, which I honestly regret because not only is it annoying to listen to, but it's pretty terrible in performance for gaming. Instead, I would suggest going with either red or brown switches for this keyboard. Here's a quick typing test so you can have an idea of what they sound like. Before we move on to the performance test, let's go over the final features of this keyboard. The first thing I'd like to mention is the Bluetooth capabilities. You can simply enable this by toggling the on switch on the back of the keyboard, and then pressing the function key plus P for pairing. This keyboard can pair up to three different devices, and using the function key plus Q, W, and E to switch between any of the three. The Bluetooth lasts up to 360 hours which can simply be recharged by reconnecting the USB cable. You don't have to worry about the keyboard running out of batteries quickly, as it has an automatic standby mode that puts the keyboard to sleep from inactivity. This specific model contains backlit RGB, as you might have already noticed. You can cycle through 17 different effects with countless customizations with the colors and display. The keyboard is compatible with almost every operating system including Windows, iOS, and Android. This means that you can pair it to any of your devices like PC, tablet, or a mobile phone. For the rest of the non-important features, you can look into the specifications or manual to learn more. Now finally, the performance tests.
This will conclude my review on the RK61 Dual Mode RGB Keyboard. It's available for $42 right now at the time of recording, which you can probably get for much less due to the Singles Day promotion from Banggood. There are other models for this keyboard like the cheaper variant with the backlight LEDs, and you also have the successor to this keyboard, the RK71. All in all, I believe this is a good keyboard for its price. If you're on a budget and looking for a new keyboard, then I would highly recommend this exact model. It does not have a hot swappable PCB unlike the GK61, so if that's something that you want to customize your own with your switches, I would suggest going with that keyboard instead. Thanks for making it to the end of this review. I'll leave a link to this keyboard and other products in the video's description. And while you're there, you can view our socials like our Patreon if you want to support our channel, or join the Discord to be part of the community. We have playlists for other reviews and tutorials which you can watch, and lastly, links to our sponsors that allows us to continue making these videos.